This is a bat that's come in from a friend. It's a personal bat. This is a Laver and Wood Reserve Elite Grade 1. So it's not their top model. He's asked for a low middle and he's, he likes a heavier style bat. So immediately the thing you notice with this bat is that he's got the legacy stickers on it, the older style ones, they look quite nice. I had the same stickers on a bat last year in the same colour scheme, so always the thing you notice about a laver in wood is just the finish. It's just like a fine bit of furniture. It's always exquisitely polished. You never see any sort of sanding marks or anything like that. Obviously they put the scuff on themselves and the edge tape and their own toe guard. So yeah, they pay a lot of attention to detail. So this was a custom order, as I said. So he likes to uh, play in the V and go long. So he's asked for a lower middle. You can see there the, spot, the uh, edge is peaking low. Uh, but it's been extended up the blade as far as the middle with a high spine that basically goes all the way from the toe all the way through to almost the handle sort of bottoms out about here. The shoulders about 14 mil, edges here about 33. Uh, the spine peaks at 68 millimeters. It's a really peaked spine. So I'll just turn that around for you. So you've got quite a lot of power there when you middle the ball. Probably as far as concave go you've got about 3 mil taken out just for balance, two to three mil, and that goes all the way down through the toe. So these are all handcrafted by James. These aren't the signature, this is the grade below it. Uh, let's see what grains you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit of marbling here that's outside the playing area. Obviously for this bat playing area should be low so we're thinking that from here to about here would be our power region not up in this area here and that's but that spine does go quite high so if you do sort of uh, mistime something and it, it's middled up here you might get away with it but definitely your power band will be here so let's uh, have a look at the camber as far as face camber goes you've got about 5mm camber I guess yeah I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's going on it's sort of flat semi flat in the middle it's not a full rounded face so yeah a really fine bit of bat making here handle shape so as usual with Laver and Wood you've got a really defined oval bottom hand it's really thick um, Actually, it reminds me of that Predator that I've got, and thinner up the top. They use these nice quality latex grips. The other thing he's asked for specifically in this bat is the carbo handle. So I think the carbo handle is supposed to make that handle a lot stiffer, um, and I'm pretty sure they only insert it probably into the top third of the bat, somewhere about there. So that should uh, give it a lot more power in the shot but just to see what the press is like this has been pressed and knocked so I'm imagining we'll be hearing sort of a higher pitch like I've seen in other labors but I could be surprised Really there. 
still going up there. And it's got a tiny little bit there too. So that spine going all the way down into the toe has given it quite a bit of power. You can see that the labour press is a much firmer press, but as they say, it will get better. But you can see the ping factor off of it. You can see that mouth just rebounding by itself. Okay. The spine going into the toe peaks at 33 mil there. So it looks quite huge from that angle there. I haven't really measured the sides, but I imagine they're somewhere around 23 mil. 23. So yeah, overall, this is pretty much what he's ordered. Um, let's give it a look at what the weight is. Firstly, I'll tell you what I think it feels like. All right, so I think it feels about 214. Yeah, it picks up its weight and it's going to because it's got that thinner style handle and it's got all that mass down here in the bottom. There's no way you can trick physics. I mean, if you put the, the weight further away from the hands, there's more effort required to actually move the mass. So let's see what it goes when we bounce a ball on it. Okay, as usual, we're going to bounce the four piece on it. You can hear that hard sound immediately. These bats need playing in. A few nets. I'm going to be giving it a bit of a knock as well. But um, you can hear a bit of action there. It's not as hard as I expected it to be, but it is still a harder style. Um, press the jukes. So nothing really up top. Up here, nothing's happening. It's down here at the moment. The sweet spot is, and it's relatively um, a narrow power band at the moment, while the bat is still in a non-plating state. So when you order a flavour, you will find that it's a much harder feel, and you've just got to be patient, because they do perform once they're played in. And I know the bet that I sold off last year, because I didn't get along with the length of it, um, but it was the same stickers. Uh, the guy ended up making 900 runs with it for the season, and it felt just the same as this one. So they go, but you've got to give them a few nets. So there we go. The low sweet spot, extended high. A bit of camber on the face. Pre-prepared by Laver with the custom burgundy stickers. And that's a really nice bat. Really good quality finish. If you want a bat that looks like something you can put on the wall and admire, a laver's definitely where you start looking. But they also make runs. Thanks very much.